In previous lessons, we've talked about showing a remainder when we're dividing numbers. And when we talked about whole numbers, we uh, wrote out that remainder using the letter R. So if I divide 24 by 5, I'm going to get four whole amounts with a remainder of 4. As a fraction, that remainder becomes the numerator and the denominator is our divisor. So 4 remainder 4 is also equivalent to 4 and 4 fifths. Now let's write that remaining amount in decimal form. We'll write it similarly, 24 divided by 5, 5 times 4 is 20, and we get 4 left over. Now I want to add a decimal point and a 0, and then bring down that 0. 5 will go into 48 times. So this is read as 4 and 8 tenths. Now 4 and 8 tenths is equivalent to 4 and 4 fifths. And in a future lesson, we'll look at how we can convert between those two. It's also equivalent to 4 remainder 4. This is the way how we would or this is how we would write it as a decimal amount. Let's look at a couple more in which we're converting our remainder into a decimal. If we have 10 divided by 3, that's going to look like this. 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. If we take away that from 10, we get 1. We're going to add a decimal point, bring down a 0, and then do the process of dividing again. Now, notice that we're getting 10 again, and 3 goes into 10 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. And if I were to bring down another 0, we would again have a 10. This is going to continue. This is a special kind of decimal. It's a repeating decimal. This means that after the decimal point, I'm going to continue to get threes as my answer. Now, if I were to say, want to round this to the nearest hundreds place, then that means I'd want to go out a little bit more. And because I'm going to stop at the thousands place, I'm going to identify the hundreds place, which is the three, the second three. Look to the right. That tells me I'm going to keep it at three. So my rounded number would be 3 and 33 hundredths. If I wanted to round to the nearest tenths, it would be 3 and 3 tenths. And if you have it like this, that means you know those are going to repeat. Or this, you could write it like this, 3 tenths. Now, sometimes you get um, other repeated numbers. For instance, you might get um, 0 0.6, and that's going to repeat. So again, if you want to round to the nearest, say, tenths, you would want to go out to hundredths place, which would be 0 0.66. And again, if we're rounding to the nearest tenths, that would become 0 0.7. More likely you'll round to the nearest hundredths, so that will become 0 0.67.
But if you see something like 0 0.6 with a line over it, that means that in your decimal answer, you're going to get a repetition of sixes after the decimal point.